imported a solid model from your CAD department and you notice right away that it is a candidate for 5-axis drilling. We're going to mount this on a 5-axis vertical. Let's look at the kinematics of the vertical before we start. It has a b-axis with minus 5 and plus 110 degrees, a continuous c, an x-axis, a y-axis, and a z-axis. Now that we understand the kinematics of the machine and how we're going to mount it and put it into use, let's talk about the part itself. There are a lot of things that we don't know about the part. We don't know the diameter of the holes, nor the XY location, nor the radial position in the B and C axis. We can measure the holes simply by going to show position, curve mode, and select the inside curve of the hole. That gives us the radius. So we now know that they are 5 eighths in diameter let's look at the holes and they are flat bottomed. That means that we need a flat bottomed 5 8 drill. 180 degrees is a flat point. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use automatic feature recognition to find the location, the angle of each hole. Let's go to Hole Manager, select the solid model, and run automatic feature recognition. It has created these groups of whole data. We're going to auto group that whole data because we might use it later. When you select on a whole, Gipscam knows to machine it. But let's talk about the whole data indicators for just a moment. The whole data indicators are in green. The X is the top of the hole. This center line is the exact center and axis of the hole in all radial directions. And this little line at the bottom shows us where the bottom of the hole is. So we have 12 holes and it's now time to start machining. Again, we don't know the angle of the holes, but Gibbs Cam does. It also knows the top and bottom of each hole. Let's bring the 5 h drill into the process list select 5 axis and restore defaults something that we always do when starting a new 5 axis process when we select drilling drilling reduces the number of tabs required because drilling is a purpose built process in Gibbscam 5 axis module and therefore it requires less input from the operator therefore speeding up the drilling of these five axis holes. We're going to use the top coordinate system. Let's go to drilling options, cycle type. We'll simply use feed in and wrap it out. Hole features, we get to select which is the controlling feature of the hole. Since we have a blind hole, we're going to select bottom on hole feature. We're gonna leave the hole modifiers alone and now we need to simply select the whole data. So I clicked the first group, shift clicked the last group, and press do it. As you can see, Gibbs Cam has automatically drilled this part for us to the proper start distance, stop distance, and midpoint and radial position. Let's slow that down and have a look at it. In this particular instance, it goes back to the clearance point before each hole. And we're going to tune that up in just a minute. But we did get a toolpath. It does drill the holes properly and to the right depth. Now let's see what we can do about cleaning up this toolpath a bit by looking at the five axis options that are available. Let's go straight to the link tab and let's select first entry, last exit, approach from rapid distance. Where do we control the rapid distance? Right here in retracts. So we have the rapid distance at one inch. Let's very quickly go to document control and check to see that our master clearance plane, I wanna set it to four inches. Since we have a lot of swing 
on the rotary axis. Now we'll press redo and you can see that we're approaching each hole from 0.8 distance out. But gaps along cut is still set to the controlling distance of retract to clearance area. So we're going to change that to retract to rapid distance and press redo. Everything looks better, but let's see what the toolpath looks like. Let's have a look and see if everything, whoa, yeah, we've got a little issue right there with rapid distance. So let's try another strategy for gaps along cut. Let's try a new one called clearance blend spline. And let's make the gap size 100% of the diameter of the tool. Now let's look and see what we have for clearance values. We'll talk about sorting in just a moment. Clearance value working not so good because we need to select a different machining order. Now can we do that with the sort window? Yes we can. We can again select the group of holes here in the hole manager. We can go to modify, sort, closest hole next, do it, and now we're going to redo the machining operation and already we can see that the order of drilling looks much better. Again, we knew nothing about this part. We brought it into Gibbs Cam and we pointed the five axis drilling module at it and it figured out the location of the holes, the diameter of the holes, and all of the radial positions and the top and bottom feature of the hole. We hope that you enjoyed this Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. Please call your local reseller if you need more information or assistance. Thank you.